Hey guys, welcome to Cute Tea Drawings. Today I'll be drawing the mutant monster Opila Bird from Garden of Banban. Ban. I'll be drawing on my tablet, but you can also follow along on paper, and please remember to like and subscribe. Okay, now let's get started. Okay, let's first start off in the center, slightly lower, and let's draw a curve down on both sides for the body. Next, we're going to hop on top and add the head. From the right line, let's draw a wavy line up. Now let's do the same thing on the left, but let's angle it over to the right and let's make it longer like this. And now from the top, let's curve it up and over to the right. Next, let's add the eyes underneath. Let's start with a curve and then a round curve on the left, forming a semicircle. Now we're going to do the same thing for the other eye, but we're going to make this one shallower and smaller like this. And then add a curve in between. Now let's move underneath and add the beak. Let's start in the center and let's draw a curve out to the right and then bring it down at the end. Then for the left side, let's curve it underneath, over, and connect it at the end. Now for the bottom part of the beak, let's start underneath on the left and let's draw a curve down and over on the right. Then inside, let's add another curve and close it off at the end. And lastly, let's draw a curve inside at the bottom. Now to finish off the shape of the head, let's start on the bottom left of the beak and let's draw a curve over and bring it in. Then at the end, let's add a wavy line down. Lastly, for the head, let's hop up to the top and add the hair. Let's start in the center and let's draw a wavy line up. And then follow that same curve down. Now let's draw two more on the left side in the same way. and then two on the right, but we're going to make them smaller as we go down. And that's it for the head. Next, let's move down and finish drawing the body. From the bottom of each body line, let's draw a curve down and in. And then a curve across to connect them. Now underneath, let's add the legs. Let's start with a wavy line down and then curve it in. And the same on the right. And then hop in and let's draw another curve down, leaving a small gap. Now underneath this line, let's add a small bump Then a curve down and out. Then hop to the outside and let's add another curve down in the same way on both sides. And that's it for the legs. Now let's add the toes. Let's start with the curve outwards on both sides. And add the talons by curving it up and back in like this. Now for the center toe, let's hop in the middle and let's draw a curve up and a triangle shape underneath.
and then let's add lines in between to finish off each foot. And that's it for the legs and feet. Lastly, let's move up and draw the wings. Let's start on the left side of the body and let's draw a curve out and then bring it up. Now let's do the same thing on the right side, but let's bring it behind the beak like this. Now from the top, let's bring a small line out on both sides. Then let's bring it back down following the same curve. Next, let's hop underneath. Let's start next to the body and let's draw a curve out on both sides. Then let's angle it up and in. Then up again. And then another step up and out like this. Now for the end, let's add another bent line that's a little bit longer. And then a longer rectangle shape above this one. Next, let's hop up to the top and work our way down. Let's start at the top and let's curve it outwards. Then let's wave it down and in on both sides. Now let's work our way down by drawing messy curves on both sides. You can follow my pattern or create your own. And that's it for the mutant opila bird. Now let's quickly color it in. And done. Hope you enjoyed drawing along with me. And please remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.